Hey guys, Cooking with Renee again, and I'm bringing you a keto pizza. This is actually made with cauliflower, parmesan, and it's super easy. So if you want to know how to make it, then keep on watching. So I like to start off with either like cauliflower pearls or cauliflower rice. To me, that's way more easier than basic, um, I mean, I've done it before as well, where you take a full cauliflower and grate it yourself totally up to you I found this way simpler and is that even a word simpler but what I'm gonna do with it is actually put it in a food processor and grind it up as fine as I can the finer to me the better of the crust will be super crispy and more uh, durable like it doesn't get soggy if that makes sense so you'll also go ahead and see keep watching so I have two different types of parm uh, parmesan like the longer ones you get an egg as well just one egg and uh, in the food processor, <laughs> you're going to do two cups. Two cups of cauliflower. And you're just going to grind it up finely. And I'm going to mention my Parmesan. So while this is grinding up, you'll see that it gets quite small. I use two different Parmesan. Uh, you don't have to, but I like a finer Parmesan and also like a little thicker Parmesan. Just so it gets into every crevice and it gets crispy to you. Crispity. <laughs> I'm making up words in this video. Crispy crust. So once that's done, I pop it on a pan and I just let it sit like with no oil, no nothing. You're trying to take out the moisture of the cauliflower. So just let that go. And like I said, I use two different um, or, or Parmesans and you're only going to need one cup. So totally up to you on what Parmesan you want to use and uh, just as long as it's a cup. Uh, again, you're just going to keep checking it. You don't want to cook it. You just want to try to get that moisture out so that uh, it gets a very crispy crust. So while that's, um, you know, I would say about three, three to five minutes, you're just going to. And then I just moved it aside and let it cool down. And in the meantime, I'm going to prepare my toppings, which I like onions. I mean, I like everything, but especially onions just because it gives it an extra crunch as well. I wanted just mushrooms and onions and I think I've done olives on it like it's up to you what you want so basically you're going to actually before that clip was a pizza pan and parchment paper don't use wax paper use parchment paper and then of course I just cut it out to the round of the uh, pizza tin just because you don't want the parchment paper to burn so that's a neat, another step so in a bowl you're going to go ahead and get your egg just one egg if you use two which some recipes say I feel like it gets it very mushy um, and too moist so uh, I just one eggs good and again you could you could figure out what what works best for you and then I'm gonna add my Parmesan and the two cups of cauliflower that was cooking and again just it's dry so now you want to mix it it's not gonna feel like oh it's not gonna combine it will get combined just keep mixing it don't add anything else except your seasoning I'm just gonna put salt and pepper in mine but you could put like garlic powder or whatever you want it's your pizza crust so you could make it any way you want I'm just doing a little sea salt and some pepper and that's good with me. I like a lot of pepper actually. <laughs> so uh, it's not going to look like it's going to combine but once you put it on the parchment paper you just put it in a ball. Now I like to actually wet my hands just a tiny bit not a lot like just wet your hands and then damp them off a towel therefore you know it's a lot smoother surface for you to work with. And so I kind of start off in a ball and then I start pushing my way out like you would a normal pizza crust or pizza dough. I mean, I worked for a pizza place when I, that was my first job was a pizza place. So uh, you just basically push it out till you feel like it's the same consistency. And as I see, as you see me here, I'm trying to form a little crust. Now you want to do that because if you keep the edges flat and it's cheese, it's going to burn. So your crust will be kind of burnt if you just leave it flat like that so just you know mark up the edges and again if a piece is thinner than the other or it's thicker just keep moving it around it's very flexible so once that's uh, ready to go just pop that in the oven and mark it for 20 minutes that's it 20 minutes for the first I mean oh my oven is set at 400 degrees 
So 20 minutes, so while it's um, doing that, I was cooking my mushrooms and stuff and everything. But here's what it looks like after just 20 minutes. Look how crisp and crunchy that looks. It's really good. So I'm going to go ahead and add my onion on the bottom before the cheese. Just again, like to give it an extra crunch. Because it's not like real pizza dough. So it's not going to be all crunchy like doughy. Uh, it is got a little bit of crunch, but it is cauliflower. So I like to put onion down first. Then I'll do some mozzarella. And you don't need a lot of cheese. That's uh, I, a downfall is a peak. I think a people lot of, put a lot of cheese on it. And to me, it makes the dough like the cauliflower pizza heavy and it mushy. So this is like a flatbread. So on flatbread, you barely put a little bit. You just make sure everything's covered very thinly. And that's it. You don't need a lot. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my mushrooms on top, which I didn't put any oil in here. I just let the natural oils of the mushrooms let it get nice and crisp. And then I'm going to put a little bit more onion on top. And again, if you're not an onion fan, do whatever toppings you will like. And sometimes I'll add olives as well. Then you're just going to pop it back into the oven for 15 more minutes. To get those toppings nice and melted. And there it is. So once it's 15 minutes, it's going to be melted and crispy. I mean, you could... Co I wouldn't put it in much longer because the crust is, is really crispy. And those cutting skills from back in the day. And you're ready to go. So I like to keep mine. I like to eat, like, I'm telling you, three slices. I could, I could chow down. I, no joke. I could chow down on a full pizza, like back in the day. But only three slices of this, and I'm full. I don't know what it is about maybe the heaviness of the cauliflower or a lot of cheese, but it's like three pieces and you're good. And then you could take the rest for lunch, um, you know, as a meal prep, even for breakfast. I'm not going to lie, it's really good cold. <laughs> and then I like to pair mine with some salad, just a simple salad, and I'm good to go. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up. Like like, subscribe, uh, hope you enjoy, of course, comment below if you're going to try it or if this uh, recipe gave, uh, helped you in any way, but uh, talk to you guys later, love ya, bye!